Well, we'd like to welcome you all here today for Inside the Experience. What we're doing is we're getting, giving us all a glimpse into some of the products and services that we have here at Muzak that we've developed over the last year or so. This first week is into the QSR business and you're gonna see some new and innovative developments that we've created in the QSR business. So, what we'd like to do in each, each week, we're going to present a different presenter to us that is an expert in their field. Today, we have a gentleman who's been with Muzak for over 31 years, primarily in the QSR business. His name is Dave Clark. Um, we're really excited to have him here today. You can obviously see from the graphics that David has spent many years in the business. We have lots of experience in the field in the QSR business. Just give DTOC a call and you'll see it yourself and a lot of other people in the field. But David happened to be in the area this week and we're really honored to have him come and explore the QSR business with us and give us that insight that we all are looking for. So let's hear it for David Clark. Thank you very much, Bruce. Thank you. Very good, thank you guys. What, I, uh, what we're gonna talk about today is something different from Muzak, some place that we've never been in 75 years. But to simplify what we are talking about is the drive-through business, the QSR business. This business is very simple. The basic of the industry hasn't changed. We make a sandwich, we sell it, send it across the counter, they give us money. Now from that point, we have gone on to very technical uh, devices for this kind of industry. So what we're talking about today is taking one of our devices and manufacturing it, which we have never done before. Part of the research of doing this was our own history here. We've been around this business for 30 years and all of you are familiar with going through a drive through restaurant and you hear somebody talking to you. They're talking on some sort of a communication device, whether it be a headset, belt pack, speaker, whatever. They're talking to you on that device. Most of these restaurants do 70% uh, of their business through that drive-through window. That's the amazing part there that a lot of people don't know. So your business through their drive-through window is very important. So, But our history has we have been a reseller of everybody's products for that period of time. Other people make it, we sell it based on their margins and, and all that. So, um, so we've been very successful in this business. We've developed uh, our drive-through operations center in 1998 to support other people's equipment as well. And so when these things break, we're talking a fairly expensive piece of equipment. When they break, we have the, the capacity to repair those, get them back in the store, keep the customer up and running. So we're currently serving right now about 20,000 maintenance customers like that out of the drive-through industry and it's only a fraction of what is really out there too. We've been out, Muzak has always been very prominent and always kept our spot as a music provider for these brands. We were approved by all major brands out there. We already have those relationships. So 30% of our business, 30% of the business that comes into this building is in the QSR industry, which is, is you know a, a very large number. So one afternoon, there was a phone call that came in here. Tom Gannert got the phone call. It was somebody looking for a person that used to work here, okay? And Tom got the phone call, and it was a guy, a manufacturer. And Tom said, hey, he's not here, but can I help you with something? And the guy said, well, yeah, I guess, you know, what do you think about? What do you think about doing? your own product. This led to senior management. They were out on a boat cruise one Sunday afternoon and they, they got to discussing, okay, what, what about making our own system? What about the market? Is the market gonna like it? Everybody's pretty well hunkered down with their own favorite manufacturer out there. So where's our position gonna be in the market? Are we gonna get out here and go head to head with these big guys or are we going to impact our relationship with these partners? Are we gonna make them mad? We don't know, we don't think so. We think we can find a place for this too. And the opportunity again for our IAs, our, our people that we support out there that support us to give them an opportunity to brand our product as well. So the last question that came off that, 
was do we want to be here in 10 years regretting that we didn't do this? So, you know, not really. We want to just take a look at where are we now? If you want to buy a drive through system, these are the big three. They control it all. They're in the tech wars right now. They are very well designed systems. They are very uh, successful systems. They've been around, you know, as long as we've been in the business with it. We are currently partnered with 3M and Panasonic and have been very good partners and do a lot of business with them. And we decided we don't want to go in and replace a nickel's worth of that business. We want to be here to position our own product. So what did the market say? We enlisted a third party company to research the market and they did that. And we had uh, 642 people answered that. And what the basic uh, what the basic response was, you know what, There's, there may be a spot for what you guys are trying to do. So, this is what we came up with. This is called the VP series. It's, ca it's, it's called VP for value proposition, okay? This is the first series or first in a series, we hope, of this product. The uh, part number of this one is a PS901. It goes for, stands for Performance Solutions, which our drive-through maintenance package and our entire drive-through offering is called Performance Solutions, 900 megahertz first version. So that's where all the, the numbers and nomenclature come from. But as you can see, I have one right here. As you can see, very lightweight design, okay? Most, most people uh, working in a QSR don't mind a belt pack here, a lighter weight headset that's been tested for years, and the technology has been tested for a long time too. We're not into the digital tech wars with everybody else. This is a very simple little box. You guys pass that around, take a look at it. But has all the basic features that the market was going to ask for, okay? It doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles that the more expensive ones have, but it does have a lot of the basic features, as I said. Okay, so what we decided is we can take this product, manufacture it ex inexpensively enough, and, and we can offer to our market an uh, alternative to what they are currently required to buy right now. Uh, a lot of systems start at a four or five headset system. Some people only have two people in a store. We actually sold, yesterday we sold a one headset system where, you know, before we'd say, no, sorry, you got to buy two. No, we actually can sell a one headset system now, okay? Lower cost option for the customers out there, okay? Price points focused on the smaller situation over there too, the smaller operator. Basic feature, simple operation, okay? This technology that we're using here is, is one that has been in the business for over 12 years. So we know that this technology is proven, we don't have to go and beta test this thing for years to make sure that it gets out the door, okay? We're gonna back it with a full one-year warranty, okay? Everything, bumper to bumper, one-year warranty. We're also backing it with a 90-day money-back guarantee. Nobody's doing that, okay? If you don't like it, you're one of our good customers, for some reason you want something else, then fine, we'll, we'll take it right back, okay? Supported again by Muzak's drive through Operations Center. One of the things mean, this means that we control the purchasing, the repair, the uh, availability of parts, the pricing, everything. We do it. And the cool part is that, you know, we can now take this as an entry level product to offer all of our suite of products digital signage, uh, surveillance, uh, commercial TV, of course, music. But this is just another piece of that puzzle for us here. So, <clears throat> where are we going with this? in the future. What we have done now is we have proven that this is a successful market that we have been in for over 30 years. And so now we have given ourselves a greater ability to own that market, which is our marching orders here. So thank you guys very much for your time, for sitting in, and I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. So thank you very much.